It's a very effective treatment. I think it's quite an exciting medication that's been sort of discovered because up until now, a lot of the weight loss medications that we have aren't particularly effective or have really sort of horrible side effects. The two sort of most common ones are Saxenda and Azempic. So Wegovy isn't actually available in the UK as yet. Azempic and Wegovy are the same drug, which is semaglutide. It basically works as an appetite suppressant. So it kind of mimics the effect of this hormone, which is called GLP-1, which occurs naturally in the body. It's produced by the gut. It sort of acts to regulate appetite by controlling gut motility and um, affecting receptors in the brain. So what semaglutide does is mimic the effects of GLP-1 in the gut and the brain to essentially slow down gut motility, um, which then kind of has the effect of reducing appetite. The appetite suppressant effect of it doesn't last. The key is that it has to be sort of given alongside a kind of formal programme of help with kind of lifestyle changes like diet and exercise as well as the fat jab. We do see that when people stop taking the fat jabs they, they will gain weight. It, you know it's not a magic solution unfortunately because you know obesity and overweight are long-term chronic diseases. The main side effect that people will tend to experience with taking either of those drugs um, are gastrointestinal ones so things like nausea, sometimes vomiting, and then things like constipation or diarrhea. If you can afford it, you can get it um, online through there's various um, online businesses that will provide both the medication as well as the kind of lifestyle support. Um, and in terms of accessing um, fat jabs on the NHS, it would be via a referral to tier three or tier four bariatric services. So that's, that's the only way that you can access it currently. And that would be for Sexenda rather than Ozempic or Wegovy. It's been clouded a little bit because certainly it is an amazing medication for people who do have obesity and overweight. So um, it's not just for diabetes, it is also for weight loss, but it is for weight loss and people who meet the parameters rather than just sort of celebrities who are already thin and healthy using it to kind of suppress their appetite. So it's not a drug that should be demonised because it has been an incredible um, development in the world of kind of managing obesity and, and overweight in a non-surgical manner.